Oh my god, so either go back with my ex or get with Tilly for six months. So either go through like trauma and emotional abuse or date Dilly for six months. Time to get back with my ex. Can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Can you come closer? Is this close? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. You know what we banter or like joke about with each other that's like I won't take it to heart because uh, me and her are still friends at the end of the day and like I have tough skin and you know and I just want to let y'all know that yeah it words can be hurtful sometimes but I'm, I'm good I'm great our friendship is like brother sister and then if you put your mindset on like you know she only kisses someone very seldomly if at all right that she has to kiss someone that she says as like a little brother and i can understand that i wouldn't want to kiss my older sister for those not in the loop what you just saw were clips from sub caitlin a popular twitch streamer as with a lot of female streamers on twitch a large part of her draws her physical appearance which caters to her predominantly male audience the appeal of course is that fantasy of having a relationship with this streamer to combat the epidemic of online male loneliness. The guy in the video is Dilly, one of Caitlyn's moderators on the Twitch platform. A couple of weeks ago, Caitlyn brought him in and put him on a stream to complete a series of challenges, one of which included kissing Dilly. Naturally, Caitlyn thought the whole time that she was way out of his league and couldn't hide her disgust for Dilly through the entire stream, constantly belittling him, insulting him, demeaning him, and putting down his manhood. Especially as a fellow Asian guy, it really hurts to see this kind of representation. A lot has already been said about Caitlyn's negative role and her reprehensible behavior in this. She was unquestionably cruel and exploitive towards Dilly. But this video isn't about Caitlyn. It's about Dilly and the men out there who have no self-respect. I want the men out there to take a good hard look at themselves and take accountability. If you were Dilly, what would you have done? How would Caitlyn have treated you? Even though her cruelty can't be justified, I would say that her disgust was understandable. The truth is, a lot of us guys are absolutely disgusting. We have no self-awareness, no self-confidence, and no self-respect. No matter how you look, the first step towards getting the things that you want in life is to have the self-respect to set boundaries and not let others treat you with indignity. As a man, you're never going to get someone's sympathy or understanding by appealing to pity. So stop feeling sorry for yourself because other people aren't going to care about you if you don't care about yourself first. You might feel sorry for a woman or child in a state of pity, but here's where you have the self-awareness to realize that no one's going to feel sorry for you. These submissive and people-pleasing behaviors don't earn any sympathy for you and only serves to destroy others' respect for you. Now, it's clear to everyone in this situation. It's clear to you, it's clear to me, it's clear to Dilly, and it's clear to Caitlyn. If Caitlyn gave Dilly the chance, Dilly would smash. The fact that Dilly likes Caitlyn isn't even a question, no matter how much he or she might deny it. Everyone knows if a girl's attractive and has a male friend, that male is going to want to smash eventually. And that's okay. If you're a straight man, it's totally normal to want to get into relationships with attractive women. But here's where the guys need to take a good hard look at themselves. If you were Dilly, do you yourself even think that Caitlyn should give you a chance? Now, I'm not saying that I'm the best looking guy out there or that I have my life in full order, but I can hold guys accountable on the mere basics. It's amazing how many dudes out there don't even get the basics right. Take a look at Dilly and be honest with me. How attractive is this man? Right away, anyone can tell the man needs to get in shape. His face is dirty and filled with acne. His hairstyle is basic and doesn't stand out. His clothes look average and cheap. If I was Dilly and looked like that, I wouldn't have any self-confidence or self-respect either. You might think I'm being harsh here and that it's not fair to judge Dilly like this, but guess what? The world isn't fair. Men judge women all the time based purely on their looks, so you can't come in here saying that we can't judge men based on their looks or money. I'm putting the accountability on men here, not because women don't do anything wrong, but because you can't control the actions of others. You can only control what you yourself do. She might be treating you like this, but you're the one who put yourself in this situation. You think it's out of the kindness of Dilly's heart that he's modding Caitlyn's chat and putting up with this terrible behavior? No, of course not. He's doing this to preserve the fantasy of one day getting in her pants. He knows that asking her out directly will probably get him rejected. So his tactic instead is to be her friend first, let her get to know the real him, and then maybe after a while she'll fall in love. And guess what? Caitlyn knows this plan too. Let me tell you. 
I've been through every version of down bad there is, and this plan of friends first, lovers later, doesn't work 95% of the time. I'm not saying that you can't be friends with women, or that you can't fall for someone over time, but no way should you be starting these friendships just with the hope that one day she'll fall for you. Maybe you think the strategy would work for a girl pursuing you, but guess what? It doesn't work the other way around. And trust me, I've made this mistake too. People like things that are new, and sticking around and letting her get used to you isn't doing you any favors in building attraction. Plus, she might just assume that you're not interested in her if you're not making any moves. And if you're not making any moves, she might also think that you just don't have the confidence to make any moves, which is also unattractive and bad for you. She probably has loads of options around her already, so why would she waste her time waiting for you? Getting into a friendship with a girl just for the chance to get with her is just a dishonest situation all around. You know you're being dishonest, she knows your true intentions, and so it forces her into a dishonest situation. It just hurts everyone, but she'll gladly keep you around for that free self-validation and attention. You can try to deny these things or say that Dilly's situation is different, but take a good hard look at yourself. Lying to yourself only hurts yourself in the end. Men, you gotta have some self-respect and honesty for yourself. You have to recognize that what might make you fall for a girl doesn't work the other way around. Getting showered with flattery and compliments, this might make you feel confident and manly, but doing this doesn't make a girl more attracted towards you. How would you feel about someone's approval if it was just given away for free? There'd be no value in it, and there'd be no reason to respect the person giving it. Only when you have self-respect and realize your own worth can you take yourself out of these situations, and it's at that point that women will actually respect you and treat you the best. But you can't have a genuine feel of your own self-worth if you don't first dial in your fitness, looks, and money. The thing is, men actually have it really easy in this regard. The more you improve yourself on the standards that society has already set around fitness, looks, and money, the more women are going to like you. Unlike women, you don't have to sacrifice your career in order to have kids. You don't have to spend your youth when you look the prettiest climbing the corporate ladder. Girls won't be insecure about you making too much money or being way stronger than them like guys might. You can make improvements on all the positive things that affect your life while making no sacrifices towards the things that increase your appeal towards women. So if you're a man that doesn't have his life together, doesn't take care of his body, and doesn't take care of his looks, if you constantly pedestalize women, are subservient to them, and deceive them with false friendship, You deserve to be dilly, but if you're ready to take accountability, you're already ahead of most men out there. I promise you, when you do everything to make yourself better first, the confidence and attention from women and men alike are going to come. And the craziest thing about respecting yourself first is that others will also respect you more for it. It's a blessing to have the privilege of building yourself up. If you want to learn more about how to better yourself, check out some of my other videos. And until then, thanks for watching.